show you how to do a um, YouTube like thumbnail if you want the background of a picture removed. So it's actually pretty simple in Canva. This is Canva Pro, um, just so uh, if you don't have it, uh, some of the features may or may not be available to you. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into, I'm going to type in YouTube thumbnail. That, and then we're going to go click the blank. So now on the left here, we're going to scroll down to backgrounds. So this may or may not be, like this feature may not be available to everyone. Um, but let's say we want, say we want this one. So we'll go like that. And then say you have a picture that you want to remove a person or an object. So we will go, uh, let's go photos. Um, let's try this one. Let's go effects. Then all you do is you click the background remover button. It may take a bit because it is trying to figure out what to remove. So there we go. So now you have this object removed that you could put in a picture. So, and then you have the erase and restore on the left hand side here. So let's delete that and we'll try, say we want the picture of a person. So say, yeah, my internet's a little wonky. So, say we want this removed. So, it's a picture of me. It's my favorite drink. So, we'll go effects, background remover. And this is so easy. I just can't do Shopify. Uh, Shopify, I guess. I just can't do Photoshop. So, this is the easiest way to do it. And there you go. So, then you can center your picture, line everything up however you want it, and there you go. Now another thing you can do is you can take text and say you want to curve it around at the top, kind of make it a little bit uh, fancy, as I really have no like design, graphic design skills. So let's go Canva Pro back, background remover, let's just go like that. So now you're going to go up into effects again. <clears throat> now here is a whole bunch of different effects you can do. But say we want to curve it, right? So I'm going to change the level of the curve like that. And then you can always make it bigger. Let's go too big. Let's drop it down there. So now. This is just going to make making thumbnails that much easier. So there's a bunch of different things you can play around with up here as well. It's honestly super simple. So just like that. You just center it. And there you go. You have an easy way to remove backgrounds without having to cut and use a Photoshop and be super like specific and zoom in and cut a person out just to use them in a picture. You could do this with food pictures or really anything. Um, so let's see, let's see if it'll work here with this. Sometimes it may not be able to get the item that you want out of the picture. There we go, it did. So then you can use this Pretty cool, pretty simple feature. Um, I'm assuming it is part of the Pro. Um, this is not sponsored at all. Um, I pay for the Pro monthly. And again, my internet's being stupid. So yeah, um, you can simply just remove items, things from pictures that you want removed. It's pretty simple. Um, yeah, if you're looking for an easy way to do YouTube thumbnails and you want like to put a bunch of different things in, but you have a different background, no need to use Photoshop, 
you have it all right here. Oh, an emerald. So I may not be able to do everything because there is other things in the picture. So, but you get the gist of it. And yeah, see you in my next one.